This is a video tutorial to guide you in the simulation of the slope instability due to rainfall infiltration exercise presented in Chapter 11 of the Tutorial Manual. The objective is to make you learn how to deal with the implemented hydraulic boundary conditions, in particular the seepage phase and the infiltration, to simulate the instability of an unsaturated slope. Also, in order to apply the keynote procedure for stresses initialization, it will be explained how to define initial conditions in terms of soil surface and phreatic surface assigned from an external text file. In the video, we will be shown the problem definition, how to create input data, how to perform the calculation, and finally, how to visualize the results. This problem corresponds to the second example reported in a chapter dedicated to the simulation of a slope failure under transient hydraulic loads. As reported in the manual, this problem is modeled in 2D plane strain conditions. Here you can see the geometry of the problem, the dimension specifications, and a table with the material parameters considered. In particular, the soil is modeled using the two-phase formulation of MPM for unsaturated soils. Once open the GID software and save the project, you have to select the Anura 3D problem type from the data menu. So you can start to draw the geometry by writing in the command line the points coordinates that are reported in the manual. As you can see, an entity containing empty element is defined at the top side of the slope model to allow for free movement of material points. Based on the polygons that constitute the geometry, you have to generate the surfaces with the Create NURBS Surface option by selecting the edge of each polygon and press the S button for a correct assignment. At this point, you can define the material properties to assign to the surfaces. Enter into the material menu and create the material slope with the properties specified in the manual. This is defined as an unsaturated material two-phase with suction effect with the more Coulomb constitutive model. Notice that only during the initialization stage, it is used an higher value of permeability to speed up the consolidation process and an higher effective cohesion to prevent slope movements during this stage. You can now assign the slope material by clicking on each surface of the model occupied by it and check the assignment with the draw command. Next step is to specify the initial number of material points per element to each surface of the model occupied by the slope material. You can keep the default selection of surface and 2D single point formulation and choose three material points per element. You can now assign the boundary conditions for solid and liquid phase on the lines of the geometry. Enter into the Fixities menu and select first solid fixity line and assign on the left and right lines of the geometry horizontal fixities. Then full fixities are applied at the bottom side and vertical fixities at the top. Regarding the liquid fixities, assign on the upper lines of the left side and on the right lines of the geometry, horizontal fixities. Then, vertical fixities at the top and the bottom sides of the geometry. Now, in the loading condition menu, select 2D liquid pressure, linear distribution, and insert the values reported in the manual. The aim is to reproduce a water level at the left end 
by applying an hydrostatic liquid pressure distribution on the left bottom line of the model. To perform the stress initialization with the keynote procedure, it is necessary to specify the initial soil and phreatic surfaces. Select the condition 2D soil surface line and assign it to the lines of the geometry corresponding to the slope profile. The next step is to specify the initial phreatic surface that in this case is assigned from an external text file. First, create the text file by typing the values indicated in the manual. The first number corresponds to the total number of points, while in the two columns are listed the X and Y coordinates of the phreatic surface. For your convenience, save the file in the project folder. Then, enter in the initial condition menu and select the option 2D water surface with zero pressure from file. Copy the external file path, including its name without the extension, and assign it on the surface including the slope material on which the initial phreatic level should be applied. In the rainfall infiltration problem, the slope surface is a potential seepage phase during the initialization. So, next step is to assign an area to the potential seepage phase in the corresponding menu by selecting the points of the geometry corresponding to the minimum and maximum coordinates of this area. Then, the slope instability is induced by rainfall infiltration. So, at the same area, there's need to assign the infiltration condition and the value of infiltration rate indicated in the manual. Let's go now to generate the mesh. Since this is a 2D model, be sure that in the mesh menu, the quadratic type is set to normal and then specify the element type as triangle and assign it to all the surfaces of the model. An unstructured mesh is used for this example and a size of 0.4 is assigned to all the surfaces. Now you can generate the mesh by setting the element size to 1. Once generated the mesh, you are ready to specify the calculation data from the Anura 3D menu for the stress initialization stage by quasi-static gravity loading. This is performed starting from an initial distribution of pressures and stresses calculated by keynote procedure. This is a 2D plane strain analysis. Apply the gravity load stepwise and set the multipliers as 1 for the initial and final value. From the beginning, the linear distribution of liquid pressure is applied at the left side of the model. Thus, choose Apply Liquid Pressure. Select Apply Seepage Phase and keep the option Not Apply Infiltration since it is activated in the second stage of the calculation. Apply the converted criteria for the quasi-static calculation and set to 5000 the maximum number of time steps in order to reduce the computational time. Activate the mass scaling option and set the factor to 80. Apply an homogeneous local damping coefficient of 0.05. Activate the strain smoothing and the liquid pressure increment smoothing. Select the option Apply Keynote Procedure and then click on Accept to save the modifications. Now save your project and click on Generate Anura 3D Files. The files are now generated in the project folder. As you can notice, a new folder with a 3D extension has been generated by GID. Inside, you can find all the input files necessary to run the simulation. 
There is also the calculate file that includes the paths of the project folder where to find the executable and the input files. So double click on calculate to launch the first stage of the simulation corresponding to the stress initialization by Keynote procedure and quasi-static gravity loading. To run the second stage of the simulation, in which the slope failure is induced by the rainfall infiltration, you need to modify the last CPS file that is generated at the end of the stress initialization stage, which is the CPS number 2. Then modify the number of load steps to 22, the time per load step to 1, activate the infiltration condition, switch off the quasi-static convergence, and activate the material update option, then save the file. Now open the GOM file that includes the material parameters and modify the value of the intrinsic permeability liquid and the cohesion. Save the file and double click again to calculate to perform the second stage of the simulation. In the third stage, that corresponds to the slope stabilization, the rainfall is switched off and the seepage phase is reestablished. So open the last CPS generated, which is the number 23, modify the number of load steps to 32 and deactivate the infiltration conditions. Save the file and restart the calculation. To visualize the simulation results, open Paraview software and import the output files with VPK extension generated by Angular 3D in the project folder. They include the results of mesh data, scalar, tensor and vector quantities. In this way, you can visualize the mesh. Then, to visualize the results of the stress initialization state in terms of total stresses, Go to Tensor, Total Stresses, and choose the desired component. According to what is displayed in the memo, vertical stresses correspond to component 4 in Paraview. The initialization stage is performed in one calculation step, so let's go to step 1 and click on Rescale. The distribution of core pressure can be visualized by clicking on a scalar and select Pressure Liquid. Now, let's go to the end of the simulation and we can observe the increment of pore pressure at the top surface of the slope due to the rainfall infiltration. The displacements are stored in vector file. Click here to visualize the total displacement magnitude. In this video, you learned how to model with Anura 3D the instability of an unsaturated slope induced by rainfall infiltration. First, you learn how to define the model using GID. In particular, to apply a linear distribution of liquid pressure, assign hydraulic boundary conditions such as seepage phase and infiltration, and assign the conditions of initial soil surface and phreatic surface from external text file, necessary to initialize stresses by keynote procedure. The simulation consisted in three stages, so you learn to perform a staggered calculation, and finally, to visualize the results in Paraview.